Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Prayer. Talking to God. Listening to God. But why pray? Why pray? God knows our needs. He tells us in the sixth chapter of Matthew not to babble on. So why pray? Well, this morning we have another one of my favorite stories in the Jewish scriptures, that of Queen Esther. And if we look today at Queen Esther in prayer, we might get a glimpse of our answer of why. Why pray? And it can be summed up in one word, empowerment. If we look at that story of Queen Esther, who herself is under a death sentence, along with her Jewish people, her people of origin. And what we see in that story is that God answers by empowering Esther, by empowering us to be agents of the change we are praying for. Think of that, to be empowered to be the agents of the change we are praying for. The writer of the story of Esther is quite detailed when, it, when, he, when the author actually says, seized with mortal anguish, you can actually feel Esther's turmoil. You can feel her stomach churning, her thoughts racing. And yet, Esther believes that God is utterly trustworthy. So she prays for the courage to do the daring thing. Now, I have to be honest with you, for Esther, the daring thing might not seem too much for us. Basically, it was she was to go into the presence of her husband, the king, and in going into his presence to ask him to rescind the decree that would have led to the death of the Jewish people. But the catch was that he or I should say she, could be put to death because he had not summoned her. So in a sense, she was signing her own death warrant, not even for being Jewish, but because she wasn't following the protocol of the day. But she prayed for the courage and she asked those of her household to pray with her for the courage to do the daring thing. What daring thing are you and I facing today? Dealing with a family member, a co-worker, a seeming insurmountable problem, particular need, illness or addiction, let us remember this morning that the Lord always hears our prayer. And so help me then, O Lord, to draw on your strength to make things better. Empower me, O Lord, this day to be an agent of change. Amen.